how to remove or insert the RAM module on the HP computer with the Model D330 so if you want to upgrade the RAM then uh, here's how you can uh, insert or remove or insert a new or extra RAMs so these are uh, small screws at the back here that you need to first take out so take out the screw and pull this latch back and it should flip open the case now you should be able to pull the case back so need to come out a little bit more and take it off so we put the cover on the side and I just move this one in so the RAM sits just below behind the DVD drive so we need to lift this fun bit up upwards so I just adjust the camera so you can see there's a latch or a clip we need to pull up so take out the front cover pull out the front cover and lift this one up should be able to lift up easily once it is lift up you can then you can see how this one can be lifted up by using this latch here and you can just pull it up like so once it is pulled up you can easily access the RAM so simply push down the white clip on the side here to pop up the RAMs to remove it simply just pull it out so this here is a 1 gig RAM you can see now you might only uh, use up 2 slots this machine here have up to 4 slots of RAM that you can put in so using the white clip over here we can pull it down on both sides and this will release the RAM module which you can pull out so once you got the RAM out you can upgrade so this one here only have 256 megabytes so you can upgrade to 512 or even 1 gig or 2 gig of RAM now when you put it back in make sure the pins align correctly so there is different size here you want to align them in the correct way and then just push it down on one end then the other end and once you push it down the white clip should automatically click into place and lock the RAM module into the motherboard and that's it that's how you can replace the RAM on the HP computers so this is the HP Compact D330 and from here we should be able to uh, lift it down so we're just going to lift it down make sure that it sits in place then you can put the front cover back in so once we've got the front cover back in we can then put the top cover back in Make sure that they line up and then just push it in and using a screws to tighten the, the, cap, the top cover. And that's it. Thanks for watching this video.